Oh, wow, wow, wow. So you see John moving the weight that even Larry wasn't able to move. So that's impressive stuff there. Where's Levon? Levon. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? In this video, I want to talk about some crazy training exercises that I saw on Larry Wheels' channel. By the way, shout out to Larry Wheels for promoting arm wrestling so much and being so involved recently. It's awesome. It's fantastic. The sport is only growing more and more. But basically, Larry Wheels, Eric Wolf, and John Brzezink, they're doing some training with some very, very unique exercises that are not conventional when it comes to arm wrestling strength and this dude Eric basically has a whole dungeon of like crazy contraptions and arm wrestling uh, exercises which is kind of interesting to look at and one thing about John Brzezink that most people uh, know that he says that he basically doesn't train with weights but we're seeing how strong he is in this video at some very bizarre exercises which is kind of interesting yeah. so right here there's some type of contraption with two straps here and he's got yeah. it set up at like a low angle. Hits this bad, it doesn't count because people have a tendency to come down. Oh, I got you. So, I, I so this is like a posting back pressure exercise, basically. Stop, it's a chain stop. Just gently pull the back in three of them. And this is an interesting contraption. He's uh, Eric is like an engineer, so he's able to develop these types of bizarre uh, training systems. Two. Ready, John? No. Ready, Adam? No. Wow, wow, wow. Get the starter weight. That is interesting. Now we got Brazil trying it out. That's the starter weight. Yep. That doesn't feel right. John says that doesn't feel right. Good. One, two, three. How many plays you want? One or two more? So he starts repping it easy. They start adding weight. That means about. Let's see, let's see. Probably a hundred, couple hundred kg. Yeah, I'd say that. I mean, couple. you know from Dubai, your, your PRs, how close, what weight felt like that? That felt like about 45. Okay. Let's see, so they start going a lot heavier. Larry can't move this heavy weight, and then I'm pretty sure John tries it right after, and he's able to move it. Let's see, let's see. Come on, John, just buzz it. all you got to do. This is a crazy contraption here. Like you can just tell this whole dungeon, like look at all the equipment and arm wrestling stuff. This is actually, it's impressive. Wow, wow, wow. So you see John moving the weight that even Larry wasn't able to move. So that's impressive stuff there. Where's Levon? Levon! <laughs> man, how can you not love John, man? What a, what a legend right there. He says, Levon. Where's Levon? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we believe him? Yeah. Do we believe him, Larry? Yeah. Do we believe that Brzezink doesn't use weight training? Leave a comment. Do you guys think John Brzezink secretly does some type of weight training? We've seen videos of him. He has like a pulley system at his place. He has like a couple handles, but oftentimes he talks about how he just practices on the table and that's about it. And he just does it every week or every two weeks. But um, it seems like he's super strong at whatever exercise this is. Anymore. And then they go on to do some other very bizarre exercises. I'm going to kind of skim through some of them here. Like here, there's like pronation with chains. And John basically tried this exercise and said he doesn't like how it feels Probably compared to actually pronating an arm wrestling. Than any mechanical engineer yeah. can do, right? Yeah, right, 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 John. Gets mad. So six chains. Let's see how that works. So, the thing about chains is, as you go up higher, uh, the weight is heavier because you're lifting the chains off the ground. You see Larry doing it right now. And you're getting a lot of back pressure with that, with it, with it too. Yeah, a lot of back pressure there. But not much pronation. That's almost yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's saying he doesn't feel it much in his pronator, but more back pressure and biceps. So that was another interesting exercise. And then they went on to do some other exercises here, like so this. So Let's see what else they did here. Try the chains to see if uh, anything comes out of this. Biceps, uh, maybe even here. Yep. Another chain exercise for riser. And what is that targeting? What muscles are fatiguing out? And what is this? What is this? 
what the heck? So this is for wrist flexion and he's putting his shoulder in that thing so you're not using your shoulder. So it's really just isolating more of the, the wrist flexion. This, this exercise makes a whole lot of sense for wrist flexion. That's interesting, the angle. It's coming from a high angle, almost like you're, you'd be in a match with your hand straight up as opposed to doing wrist flexion on like some exercise where it's down more. You're, you're actually doing the wrist flexion with your hand upright instead of at a lower angle. So that's kind of an interesting exercise. Let's see what Larry thinks of this one. Yeah, that's yeah. nice because the angle is more replicating an arm wrestling angle where your arm is up straight instead of down when you're doing wrist flexion sometimes at a different angle. It's harder to translate it to the table, it seems like. <laughs> Larry just drops the handle. Okay, interesting. So it's like a hook training exercise where you're looking at your arm right in front of you. Interesting. So what else? Oh, connecting all the different moves. So it's a win-win. Oh, here's John curling. 75 pounds easy. 100. Epic, epic. Wait, let's see how heavy they go. I want to see what Brzezin can do here. How much is this? 13.2 is in this one. But he's the engineer. Wait, oh, well, how much? So 13.2 times 2 is 26.4. So 26 and a half plus 50. 76 and a half plus 25. Call it 100. Call it 100 for the bottom. John's 100. repping out 100. <laughs> what is this contraption? What is this? Oh my gosh. That is. <laughs> There are so many gadgets here, over here. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Workouts with contraptions that have all been handmade by Eric here. And uh, mom said, well done. I thought great you were. Um, I think, what, two for three? Two for <laughs> I think I got, I got two thumbs up. Yeah. Couple thumbs down. All right. That's yeah, all right. exactly. You know? He's <laughs> got room for improvement. Yeah, for sure. Right? Always room for improvement. Always room for improvement. Room for improvement. Well, it's a good workout. Yeah, mm -hmm. most definitely. After like four hours of walking, I was saying. Uh, so a ton of fun today. I uh, can't wait to come back. Man, that's awesome. But by the way, some context on Eric Wolf. This dude is a super legit arm wrestler. I've gone against him several times. First time being at the John Brzezink Cup in 2021, November 2021. He crushed me on the right arm. Completely just had me in the setup. Super strong hand, especially his right. His right is a lot stronger. And then we faced again about four months later. I'm going to show the whole tournament footage here because it's interesting. If you haven't seen any of my matches, uh, if you're a new subscriber, this might be interesting interesting too. This was at the Arm Fighter Championship when Matt Mass faced Tim Bresnan. This was at that same event. This was in the tournament, the 230 class. Ready, go! Stop! Winner! Here's me going against Mika, who's a strong up-and-comer from uh, California. Go! Stop! Elbow. Ready, go! So we go to the strap. Let's go. Over. Over. Don't move, you guys. Go. And I just feel my pronation is so connected here. I've got everything. As long as I keep my elbow down on the pad, this is like, this is money. Yeah. Yep, I knew I had it. So, you know, I'm celebrating. I'm looking to the crowd. And that's a big win because Mika, I respect him. He's a good athlete. He's a very strong dude. So I was definitely happy with that win right there. And here's Jonathan Vasquez on the right. Right to the pad. Here's Dallas Langston. He slips under my hand. We go to the straps. Go. 
and then right to the pad and the straps. And then this is uh, this dude had to beat me twice to win. This is for the championship on the left, first place pro class. I feel his wrist busting back completely. He slips out underneath. That's one foul. And he changed the angle. He went for a forward press, but I still stopped it. He meant he got his elbow off the pad, so that's two two elbows, and that's a loss for him. But even if that match still goes, I felt confident in the hook. I had his I had his hook stopped and then from there I'm able to roll out so that's the win first place on the left and then here I had to uh, I was undefeated I had to beat Eric Wolf twice he was undefeated also I believe um, I either had to beat him once or twice but I I hadn't lost yet so he had to beat me twice for sure in the first match I tried sinking a hook somehow and he just went right to the pad second match second match i went outside but he still was able to uh reel me in in that hook there his hand is super legit i need more pronation to uh to get out of his hand which i have been training a lot but we also faced again at the kraken tournament where he did beat me on the right once again but i absolutely crushed him on the left here let's show the footage I just felt like I took his hand so easy. He elbow fouled there. I'm pretty hyped up because me beating him, even this is my first time facing him on the left, but I know he's a super strong opponent, so super hyped up to uh, feel this good against him. About to start here. And then right to the pad for the win. So I was happy with that. But um, that's just some context on Eric Wolf. Super strong armor star. I would like to face him on the right again at some point. I know he's a monster, but I think I'm getting stronger. Definitely believe I'm getting stronger. So. So it'll be exciting to avenge some of my losses in arm wrestling and keep climbing the ranks. But I thought this was a good video to make talking about the, these crazy exercises that you see Larry Wheels, Eric, and then John Brzezink doing. What do you guys think about this? And also, do you think that Brzezink uh, actually does weight training? Because it's kind of crazy to believe he doesn't do weight training and he's just doing table time all the time. But um, it's an interesting topic anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.